up guys and welcome back to my channel I've been doing a couple of these videos in the car because it's really the only time I have time to do anything these days um, but I'm at work I'm waiting for the bell to ring so I can go to my duty um, but today is not about that so um, I had every intention on making several videos this week um, <laughs> And then Monday I went to, so today's Friday, Monday I went to the doctor because I didn't feel good and um, I went for something totally not related but my blood pressure was 178 over 118 and if anybody, if any of you guys know about blood pressure, that is literally almost at stroke level. So. Um, I, the doctor, like my doctor that I've been going to has really wanted to put me on blood pressure medicine for the last year because my blood pressure medicine was not high until COVID started. And then COVID started, my blood pressure went out the roof and it would not get down, would not come down, like refused. So, um, but, so he's been trying to put me on blood pressure medicine. And for anyone who's ever done any research on blood pressure medicine, blood pressure medicine is horrible for you. Um, not only does it make you sick a lot of the time which I took it I think two days and it made me sick um so I was dizzy I felt nauseous it's all these things and I was like I'm not taking this um but not only does it make you sick but it forces your blood pressure to come down right and so by forcing your blood pressure to come down one way it counter reacts with death, other things right so I don't know all the research but I've done plenty of research to know that I'm not going to take it. I have plenty of family members who have taken blood pressure medicine and said, please don't take blood pressure medicine. You can reduce your blood pressure pressure any other way. Do it. Don't take the medicine. So what I've been doing is I've been drinking this um, Hawthorne Berry Tea. Um, you can actually get it from Walmart, I believe. Or you can order it from Amazon. That's what I do. I order it in bulk from Amazon. But... You can order it from Amazon or you can get it from a bunch of different places. Um, I used to drink it like just the leaves, but, um, and in this video I'll show you me preparing the leaves, but now I've just been taking the tea bags because it's easier. But um, anyway, so since I've been drinking this, so like I said, today is Friday, Monday, my blood pressure was 178 over 118. Um, partly because I had just drank a venti coffee, which coffee will make your blood pressure shoot out the roof. Um, and so will pork. And I had eaten pork the night before. But, um, took it this morning and it was 131 over 83. And I will show you my numbers, um, that have been coming down steadily this week. So what I'm saying to you is, and I've had to drink, stop drinking coffee, which is like, I look like. I was like not so good but um so not drinking coffee has been like hurting me with my energy levels as far as that but outside of my energy levels like if it's gonna drop my blood pressure and not make me have to take that crazy medicine and if I have to drink this tea every day instead of coffee girl bottoms up okay <laughs> so um but yeah it's really hot so I don't well maybe it's hot yeah and so it it's not the best tea in the world I don't put sugar in it um it's got a I wouldn't say a bitter taste but it don't taste like water you know so it does have a taste it's a dark purpley red color um and we're just gonna have to use this to change my blood pressure so I want you to stay tuned I want you to watch how I prepare the leaves and then as a tea bag I just do the exact same thing hey guys so this is how I prepare my tea I use the Sorel dried natural or I use the Hawthorne with hibiscus organic traditional medicinals tea you guys have seen this in an Amazon haul before um, but I I really don't necessarily like the taste of either one of these um however they definitely work to lower your blood pressure so let's go ahead and get started i am not a boil a pot of water on the stove kind of girl i feel like it's a waste of time so what i do is i take a coffee filter 
and I put it inside of our coffee maker. Now this is what is left of my Sorel tea. So this is what I'm going to use today. And I'm just going to use all of this. The um, back says to only use a fourth of an ounce. Wait, place one cup of Sorel and a fourth ounce of ginger in a container. Pour four cups of boiling water over the Sorel and ginger and cover the mixture and let it steep for four hours. 99.9.9999% um, .9 of the time, she don't have time for that. So we're just going to take this little bit that's left and dump it in here, okay? This is difficult to do ah, because I have one hand to use. So it's just dried up hard leaves. Um, they are hard hibiscus leaves. Like, I don't know if you can hear how hard and crunchy they are. But yeah, so this is the last little bit of this that I have. This stuff is so potent, um, but that's it. Hold on, let me pour the rest of this in here and I'll come right back to y'all. Now that it's in here with the coffee filter, you're just going to pour water in here. And so it's however much water you want to drink. This is the water jug that I'm going to use. It is from Walmart and there's some um, leaves in the bottom of the sink there that you see. But this is from Walmart. Um, I don't know the name of it, but it's just you know a water jug and that has soap in it so let's let this run out get the soap out of there perfect so this is just my water jug from walmart i'm letting the soap run out of it okay so then i'm just going to pour off a little because i got to be able to put some ice in here because this thing is going to be piping hot okay is that enough to make room for ice i think so okay so now you're just going to take this and I'm just going to pour it in my, y'all made coffee before, like I don't got to show y'all how to make coffee. But. So just going to pour it in there. Okay. And then top down, chrome spinning, thug life, one of the reasons. So then, and this is just the mess that I just made. And then you're going to cut it on. And once you cut it on, it's going to start to make the coffee. I want y'all to be able to see it, but I don't have enough plates here. There we go. So it's going to make that, I'm going to wipe this up real quick. Give y'all a little um, ASMR. So it's just making the tea now and it, you're gonna see that it comes out a very dark purplish red color my dad says it's pink but i'll let y'all decide what color y'all so that's so y'all know um as far as like high blood pressure, I have had high blood pressure for about the last six months or so. Um, I stopped drinking this tea over the weekend, so I didn't drink it for about three days. And I noticed that the top number of my blood pressure did shoot up a little bit high than I feel safe with um, it went up to 130 over 80 typically for me my blood pressure now is running 120 over 80 exactly which has always been my normal you know some people run lower some people run higher um, my normal has always if I was you know fine as long as I was fine not sick or anything like that my blood pressure is always like 120 over 80 so I'm just wiping this down. My dad uses this every morning during the wipe it off. But yeah, so I'm just making the, the tea now. As you can see, it's that deep red color. Very deep. It almost looked like coffee, actually. But now, you can see 
That's why I put it up here so y'all can see the actual real color. It's real colorful. Um, and so this is going to probably fill up to about, I think like about 8 cups. Maybe 12. 10 to 12 cups probably. We'll see. So I'm going to let that run and I'll show it to y'all when I'm done. Alright, so here it is. It's just under eight cups, so probably like six and a half cups here. And we're just going to pour this in. Now, mind you, it's piping up. Piping hot. It's really hot. I should put the ice in here first. Whoopsie. So, again, I poured off some so that we can make sure that I could put ice in here. Let me grab the ice. Um, do we know what kind of bottle this is? We have no idea. Oh yes, we do. It's a towel bottle, okay? I need to wipe it off, it's a little dirty. On the outside, just wash the inside. Got some water spots in it. All right, and so there's that. It's fine, y'all. Now we're gonna grab some ice. How are we gonna grab the ice? Dummy. Just take one of these bags here. I'm just gonna put some ice in. Ice is in now, so what I will do with whatever is left is I will take whatever's left. Okay. And grab a plastic bag. And then I will take the whole coffee filter with the leftovers and I will put it inside of a plastic bag. Now, you want to make sure that you're using this every day and getting the air out because this can mold if you leave it too long. Um, but I just put the bag, I will just put the rest of the leaves in this plastic bag and I will use this again tomorrow. I can use the leaves typically twice, maybe three times. Um, I just try to judge how dark the leaves are still looking. So guys, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am on my way to a thousand subscribers. Um, so please, 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 if you can help me out, help me out. Other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this video and check out some of my other health videos on this channel. All right. Thanks guys. If you have any questions, please leave those things down below. To see more videos like this, click the pictures to the right. And to subscribe to my channel, click my little picture to the left. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.